Welcome back IT Pros. This is your my IT workshop and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your SSD whether on your laptop or your desktop computer to a solid state disk or SSD. In my case I'm, uh, I'm going to work on a laptop. This one belongs to my wife. So uh, the product I recommend is PNY and the reason is the next. Here we are in Amazon. I just type PNY SSD. Uh, we are going to use the model that we have on the screen. The size really doesn't matter. In my case, I'm going to use 240 gigs. Um, and the main reason I'm recommending this this brand is because it comes with a Cronus True Image. So disclaimer, I'm not related, associated with PNY, so I don't get anything by recommending this. I just think it's a good product and it comes with the cloning software as well. You can do backups with it. So um, that, this is the main reason for, for my recommendation. The other thing we are going to need is a USB to SATA cable so we can connect our new SSD to our computer. But uh, before going any further with this, uh, I want just to make sure you remember this. Before doing everything we're going to do, we have to run the antivirus in the computer so we don't carry over any viruses. Check the health of your current HDD using check this. I have a video in the description below. Run this fragmentation. Windows does it anyway. And if possible, back up your photos, videos, documents, etc. So we have um, less to clone or less to backup. So with all this in mind, we are going to also need, as you can see here, this is what I'm going to use, the PNY hard drive to 40 gigs. Um, the, S, the cable I just show you, uh, here is the, the code for the software I was talking about. This is, the, this is the way they give it to you. And after you have all this information, we are going to go to the link, well, no, it's not the link, to the website that is recommended in the PNY uh, software. So this is the www.pny.com. Um, all of these do the same. These are the different models they have for SSDs. I'm going to use the first one. Doesn't matter where you click as long as it's going to show you the same. So the price or the model doesn't make a difference. You download it as of this recording, 2018, we are July, yeah. Um, the size is about 500 megabytes. So I have installed it already. So after you install it, you open the software, you accept the license as always. And it's going to ask it's going to ask you to create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to do it. Um, just for you to know, it doesn't ask many things. I don't receive a spam from them or offers or anything. Just a way to say, hey, I have your product. Well, I'm going to type my email, I'm going to type my password. This is where I make a mistake. Really, I didn't type the correct email. So I'm going to type the um, the serial to activate the software right now and after that if, if it is a valid serial number you click activate and you have it. well this is the interface this is the software what we're going to do now is go to tools clone disk because we can we want to replace it the one we have um, we have many options as you can see here so this is going to take a few minutes, depending depending how big your hard drive is. This is what I wanted to show you as well. My current hard uh, hard drive is 750 gigs, so it's a little big. Well, it's big. Um, um, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to an SSD of 240 gigs. The reason is uh, I only use this to do work. My, my wife only uses this to do work. So. The next step is to choose automatic, recommended. We are not going to make any big changes, so everything we leave it as default. This is going to also take a few minutes. As you can see here, it's going to show us the hard drive, the new SD that is connected right now with the cable to the SATA to USB. 
and this is right now this is what it's going to look after the cloning process so this is the space we're going to have available if we had more devices connected we would see another the other disks as well in this case we only have one the PNY SSD so we're going to click on proceed and the next step is going to be well we have to wait a few seconds as well um, this is the actual process of cloning the hard drive so this process is going to take a while depending on the size of your hard drive so I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back in a few well in a few minutes well as you can see here um, some time has elapsed it's almost ready to finish it's almost done um, for me it took around 50 minutes so it depends on how much information you have on the size of your actual hard drive so it's copying the MVR <coughs> I'm sorry for that so it has finished it's going to show us the three possible ways the possibilities in our case we're going to use the current hardware we're going we're not going to change anything so the first option is ours so we don't have much to do in, in this sense so we click OK and well the next steps are going to be to show you actually how I take out the, the hard drive now this is my setup this is a Dell computer this is the PNY this is the cable what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out the old hard drive and put the new one the video is um, a little accelerated for so you don't get bored um, now I'm taking out the screws from from the from the from the laptop there is a battery I left it in some others I know that you cannot the, the battery in, is, is inside the case so in, in this particular laptop the battery is outside I didn't do anything with it I left it but you can take it out as well well here I'm going, I'm going to take it out as you can see here we have the hard drive on the left and two RAM memories on the on the right so we take out the screws and there is a little plastic thing that we can use to free the disk so now very slowly we take it out and I'm going to take out the cover as well so this is like a, um, like a security uh, like a belt for the hard drive so it's not loose when it's connected to the laptop and I'm going to put it to the new SSD where our operating system has been cloned to so we put the screws back we're going to secure them um, very firmly and then we're going to put it back the same way we took it out now very carefully we put it back we make sure we have enough space we make sure it's connected and then we well we put back the screws we took out a few well in this case seconds ago <laughs> and now we're, and we're going to put the cover back very carefully because especially with the Dell models it's a little no it's a little in my opinion it's a little difficult to put back uh, the cover but with a little practice you you will have it uh, now we make sure it's uh, tightly it's, it's tightly uh, close now what I'm going to show you is the actual boot up process so I'm going to put the camera in front I press the power button and well, that's me oh um, well the Dell is starting up It's trying to look out for any um, bootable device, whether a CD or a USB. We're going to choose US. We're going to choose continue. We don't have anything else, anything else to do here. 
and we are back to the waiting screen. Well, as you can see, um, it's asking me the password. Now, in, in this part, I, I call my wife because I don't know her password. She typed it, and now we are going to get into the, the laptop. We wait a few seconds, and here we are. So this is the process to update into the, uh, to an SSD. It's very, very easy, especially with Acronis. It cannot be really appreciated here, but the hard drive has, uh, I only have like 25 gigabytes left, as I told you at the beginning of the video. My wife didn't back up her stuff in another device. Well, guys, that will be for the video today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you could, please subscribe to the channel. That, that would help me a lot. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.